so hello everyone my name is ravindra in this video we will see how i created my first copilot using copilot studio okay so as you all know uh, copilot studio is released now okay so let's we see and create one uh, copilot for our own okay by using the copilot studio okay so let's we jump and uh, go to the new tab okay let's we type here copilot studio Copilot Studio. Let's research it. Okay. So after searching this, we will um, get one result. Microsoft Copilot Studio. Okay. So let's we open this in the new tab. Okay. So here we are getting some options. Microsoft Copilot Studio. Try for free. Try a demo or sign in option okay so let's we go and click on try for free so you are selected a microsoft copilot studio let's get started okay so right here you are um, email address okay enter your work or school email address after that click on the next then looks like already microsoft customer so uh, i have already have an account okay so let's we sign in simply so we are signing okay let's we click on this let's click on the gate started let's i put my phone number here. and let's we go and jump to the new copilot studio here okay so now you can be see we are um, jump to the new window welcome to microsoft studio we receive information tips offer support microsoft copilot studio okay so let's we click on get started and blah 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 things okay so open Let's we give a name to our copilot here. So let's we give name to our copilot, my copilot. Okay, select the language. In our case, we will select English. Okay. Um, here they are asking for the website. Okay, on the for which website we have to create a copilot. Okay, let's. So we will go and search for one website. So now we will search my. Microsoft licensing okay so this website we will choose okay in our case we will go to this website and let's copy the url and just go to copilot and paste it here let's uh, control c so you can be see the website can't be more than two levels of depth okay so we have to remove the depth for the instructions so here you can be see we remove the depth let's see what is in advanced setting so here we can be select copilot okay so let's we select this icon copilot icon solution other things okay let's create an web bot here okay let's click on the create thanks we are setting up copilot so copilot is creating it takes some time for the creation purpose okay and also one beautiful uh, emoji we can be see here you can be see and the very uh, yeah so now our copilot studio is open okay our name of our copilot is my copilot one you can be see now here we provide one prompt here okay let's we go to our website and provide let's use this prompt here okay provide detailed information about microsoft life power platform license will go and just provide the prompt here let's send so our prompt is sending okay it takes some little bit time to take a response from our copilot so you can be see we'll get the response here okay and also from where it is taken also that link also we are receiving okay so from here all the information is taken okay so now uh, after in after overview it will goes to the topics in the topics trigger is uh, 
unknown tenant okay after that it will automatically erase everything create generative answers okay if you have to add some steps from here you can be add okay condition of all those things okay data source we have provided here public website one okay after that it will check condition if it is not blank and the current topic and check all the condition and our chatbot is ends here okay so this is simple <clears throat> one chatbot we are created here okay so if we can be edited with copilot if you have to add some points you can be add variable analytics details you can be see from here okay let's uh, i close this and let's go to the next topic entities uh, no we not have to do here here we are came to the generative ai okay so here <clears throat> we are added website here okay if we have to add some other website also so from here also we can be add okay so uh, for now we only use one website okay after that copilot content moderation high default if we have to add an pdf okay so here we can be drag and drop files so let's we add one over pdf so i have downloaded one power platform licensing guide october 2023 we'll use this <clears throat> uh, file licensing file here okay and let's upload it okay so it will take some time for the uploadation okay up to 3 mb of files you can be upload here okay the file format is acceptable pdf html txt or you can be go and click on the learn more to get some more idea about it okay so like and uh, let's go and click on the publish a bot okay so uh, here we talk to your admin publish extension to microsoft copilot in this environment it means if you have to add an extension okay like here from here we can be add extensions okay so this type of extension if you have to add so in that case we have to connect our admin <clears throat> admin team okay so now we don't want this so let's we publish it so you can be see our copilot is publishing okay with list content so you can be see our copilot is published now okay so we are publisher chatbot let's see the same prompt where we will type one simply power app let's see what answer it is providing to us let's we see here our response we are sending it is taking data from the licensing pdf as well as our documentations okay our form so we are here we are providing some prompts okay getting some data you have to not worry about the spelling mistakes okay it will take automatically correct the spelling mistakes as well okay so now our web bot is ready to go okay we go and publish it let's we go to the channels here okay let's we see what channels are provided here so microsoft copilot is in preview microsoft teams custom website facebook mobile skype slack telegram anywhere we can be upload <clears throat> in this case we'll use demo website here okay let's provide some welcome message to our users in my case i will provide this hello everyone i am ravindra i have created my first copilot studio allow to see uh, this copilot and let's provide some prompts here okay let's uh, explain about power apps power apps licensing and so on okay so we have provided prompts here let's copy the url save our bot our bot is save let's we close this let's we close this and let's we open the new web tab here and just click on the enter so our first bot is created it takes some time so you can be see our uh, demo website is created here let's we provide some prompt explain the power automate licensing just click on this prompt okay we are given prompt to our copilot it will just checking or <clears throat> giving some response to us okay let's we wait for a couple of time it taking some time to search into the pdf as well as in the 
website that we have provided okay so you can be see our response we are getting okay from one from website and two from our pdf okay you can be see response we are getting from pdf as well as as well as from the website okay that's all about friends uh, my experience about creating a first copilot i encourage you to create your first copilot and if you have some questions you can be asked into a comment box thank you have a nice day